Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming a what's in my purse video. Um, I did one of these a while ago, like years ago. I probably was like 18 or whatever at the time. Who knows? But obviously my purse contents and purse have since updated um, in the last six years or whatever I made that video. I did put a little poll on what video you guys wanted to see next um, on my community page and you guys voted for this. So that is what I decided to film. So please check out my channel and your news feed on my community page because I love to hear your feedback and I really want to film what you guys want to see. So, you know, whether it's a comment or voting in a poll, whatever, just let me know. So the purse that I have right now that I'm using right now, the purse that I have right now that I'm using right now <laughs> is this one. This is by Vince Camuto and it's just like a big old you know, brown um, leather bag. It's funny that I talked about having upgraded my purse in the last several years because I've actually owned this bag for a few years now. I bought it when I was in college, when I was gonna do an internship my like second year of college. So I probably bought this when I was like 19. Um, but that being said, I did kind of like put it away and not use it and then I just started using it again maybe like a year ago and I've gone through other purses. That being said, this is a solid, sturdy bag. Um, I love Vince Camuto. I think that their stuff is really nice and it's reasonably priced for like a designer bag or whatever. So I would recommend looking into Vince Camuto bags, shoes, whatever. Um, I like the color. I feel like it's good for, you know, fall, spring, summer, cause it's brown, but it's light brown. So yeah. So what's inside of it? Um, the first thing is, my keys, this is just my ring of keys. Um, it's not like special, it's a ring of keys. <laughs> but I have this like little ridiculously unnecessary Michael Kors little purse keychain and this was like $60. Like please kill me now, what am I doing with my life? But I just love everything miniatures. All my friends know me, I love like miniature little ketchups and hot sauces and all those videos you'll see on Twitter where they make like tiny um, mac and cheese or tiny like hamburgers. All my friends will tag me in those because I think they're hilarious and adorable. So I have that and I have of course my pepper spray. If you don't have pepper spray on your keys, go get some. There's no reason not to. It's like what, $10? And this is like seriously, I mean I hope I never have to use it but if I'm walking to my car and it's nighttime at the mall, I just grip this up. It has a protective thing, so I have to lift that up to spray it so it won't spray accidentally. But this could really come in handy, you know. So, women, you know, I want a taser, so um, <laughs> this at least you should have some pepper spray on your keys. So, the next couple things I have um, that are loose in here because I like to have everything like in bags and compartments because there was a time where I had everything loose and I couldn't find anything for the life of me. Like if I was looking for my cell phone or my lip gloss or whatever, I just wouldn't be able to find it. It was so frustrating, which I still get like that. So I just have a couple things loose. Have my toothbrush just in case, you know, I need it anywhere. Should probably have toothpaste in here, but the main reason I have this is because I do sleep over at my boyfriend's house sometimes. Um, and I would just, it's just easy to keep this with me. Another thing I have that's loose is my phone or phones. So I do have two cell phones. I have one for work and one for personal. Um, this is the 6 uh, Plus and this is the 6S. And I have pretty marble cases on both of them. Um, so there's those, gotta keep them handy. I also have a random lighter. You never know when you're gonna need fire. Um, if you have friends that smoke or if you're stranded on a desert island or whatever, this is just in there. Um, then I have my sunglasses. This case is from the Crispy sunglasses uh, that she came out with from uh, Key Australia or Quay or whatever you want to call it. It's pronounced Key, but it looks like Quay. But these are actually just sunglasses that I like bought off of eBay years ago, and they're like the fake um, Celine ones, and I like them because I have a big face and a big nose so I can't get on you know the wagon for the tiny sunglasses I need big sunglasses to kind of go with my face so I just keep these in here because these sunglasses um, don't come didn't actually come with a case other thing I have in here is an umbrella 
which this is like a totes umbrella so a tiny little guy and um you know i just that comes in handy whenever it's raining so you can get a little tiny umbrella and leave it in your purse because i have had to use this a few times next thing i have is my wallet i do need a new wallet this is from aldo um and you can see it's like all worn the label and stuff this is old I've had this since I've had one of my other bags and um, I don't know I've just like not cared to replace it uh, it's just not been a priority but I need to get on that and get a new wallet because it's just kind of eh. but it's not like totally gross so that's my wallet and then I have my three little pouches that I recently got that are Dagny Dover Dagny Dover um, which I'm obsessed with and my sister put me on too. So this is like my little makeup pouch. Um, Dagny Dover is like a really nice brand. Um, this is neoprene, so it's good if it gets wet. We could put like toiletries, anything you want to put in here. And it opens up like this on the sides too if you want you know, more room. But then it closes if you want to make it smaller. So what I keep in here, first off, there's a pouch that comes with this that sticks in there so you can use it separately or whatever in this little pouch what do i have i have a pen which looks like a lipstick but it's really a pen so how cute and appropriate is that i thought that was so cute i have a hand sanitizer i like to use this after i've been pumping gas or something i hate touching like those gas things or if someone's just sick or sneezing or gross or whatever it's good to have hand sanitizer um i have tampons in here two tampons i have a nail file and i have band-aids and then last but not least i have some emergency this is freaking gross um but i just have it because i do travel a good amount for work and you can get sick because you're on the plane and i'm working and I don't get any sleep so I might take this if I'm like feeling like a cold coming on and just want a blast of vitamin C. So that's all the stuff that's in this little pouch and I am able to, this is pretty small, this is like pretty compact, I am able to fit this inside of this bigger bag and it has a little velcro patch that it sticks to. Um, and then this also has, like you could put pens or your toothbrush or little things in here it's got like a little like area for putting like little lipsticks in um, and then a side pocket. But all that's in here is basically my makeup and beauty stuff. So I have this little hairbrush. I don't even want to tell you guys the story of how I got this hairbrush because it's really disgusting and embarrassing. I'm pretty sure that when I was younger, like 13, so like a long time ago, that I just like found this on the ground and picked it up and took it. And I was like, oh, I'll use this little hairbrush. And then, you know, like eight years later, I've just still used it. So I'm sorry that I just like revealed that because it's really disgusting. But there were no obvious signs of, you know, <laughs> anything wrong with it, even though that's nasty. I should probably buy a new one, but like whatever. I use once in a blue moon. I also have a pack of tissues just in case I'm sick or, you know, whatever. I need to blow my nose. I have makeup wise. Oh, I have these little wet ones wet wipes that i just like picked up from random restaurants like this is from bahama breeze um i don't remember where i got these from but just in case you like go out on a date and your hands are dirty and greasy or just for whatever reason if you need one i could probably use this as a makeup remover and a pinch if i'm just like stranded and i need one whatever they don't take up a lot of space i also have a roller ball this is Chloe um, perfume. I think it's just Chloe, which this smells amazing. Oh yeah, Chloe Eau de Parfum. I love this. You never know when you're gonna be smelly or you need to smell good for a boy or whatever. Um, and then I have a little compact mirror. This is old, it's from Sephora. I don't even like, ooh, there's like gum on it. Oh, that's really gross and I just have you know the basics I have a setting powder this is from Senna Cosmetics I have the Boing concealer um, my benefit which I've like used that as foundation in a pinch before just have one brush for everything um, for the concealer 
the you know powder foundation whatever I have this cute little bronzer this is from buxom how cute is this so perfect for travel it's literally teeny teeny tiny um, but I really only again use this stuff once in a blue moon if I'm really in a pinch I have a lip gloss this is also by buxom this is just a tiny one in the color Amy it's just like a light pink just in case um, and then I have a lip balm by Jack Black. This is the SPF 25 lemon scented one. I have some Eucerin lotion. I have some Aquaphor for the lips. It's really great for the lips. And then I do have just this body lotion that I got from a hotel, uh, from traveling from a hotel. So that's all of my stuff that is in my little uh, makeup pouch. So it's kind of a lot. It's This is their smaller size if you do go and look. Um, I'll put this in the description link, or the description box, the link. And, you know, it holds a good amount of stuff and really does not take up um, a ton of space. So I really do like this, and I'm so glad that I purchased this. And then I actually have another Dagny Dover um, little pouch. All right, so I'll link this one too. So in this pouch, I have earplugs, which is gross. I don't even want to show them, but my boyfriend does snore, so that's why I have them. And I can't sleep with that horrible noise so I need to have earplugs um I have an inhaler I got this prescribed to me before when I thought I had like asthma it's just like you know um albuterol like a normal inhaler but I don't really use it I just decided I would keep it in there just in case anyone ever had like an asthma attack whatever it's in there I have Tylenol um always gotta have Tylenol with you just always if you have a headache if you're out staying somewhere for the weekend, if you've had a little too much to drink, you gotta get rid of the headache the next day. Um, then I have more Tylenol, like in a packet. I have one thing of Dayquil and one thing of NyQuil, just because um, in case I'm somewhere and I have a cold, which this has happened during my travels. Um, I do have a little Neosporin spray thing. You just spray it and it disinfects, so that's really convenient. Um, then I have a Benadryl in here that I sometimes will take to go to sleep. So like a melatonin or a Benadryl will always be in here in case that I'm away and I'm not able to sleep or whatever. That's come in handy more times than I can say. Um, and then I have another random thing. It looks like a little like laundry stick, but it's actually a spray. Ooh, hand sanitizer. Um, so just have another hand sanitizer, you know on myself and then the very last thing I have is this little pouch here and this just has like gum and mints and stuff mouthwash floss Listerine packets five gum this and stride is the best I won't buy anything else because everything else sucks and does not last this I just got from like a hotel one time from staying at so this is like my breath pouch if you will so this is just another this is a random black pouch that I found in my house somewhere this is not Dagny Dover um, but yeah, whatever. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Um, and please just, you know, comment, let me know what you'd like to see. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.